What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York. We are outside St. Vitus for once this time. It's a little nicer than the basement, but we are here with Aaron of Blackfast. Thank you for your time, man. We are outside. I'm not wearing my sunglasses inside. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. It would be very mysterious. A little mystery never hurt anybody. That's right. Yeah. But congratulations on the new record, Spectre Thank of Rune. You. It is absolutely brutal. It was pretty metal releasing it on Friday the 13th, I might say. Serendipitous, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. But uh, how was the recording for it? this time the process yeah. in the studio um it was it was uh we were ready i think um we had been to eric before we had been to mana before we knew like we knew like you know what what kind of sound we wanted we sort of had an idea of like what amps we were going to use we knew like how many days we had and what that meant as far as the vocals and guitars so we were just like you know we, we had done it the once before just a couple years earlier and uh we were just a little more ready i think Oh, absolutely. That's pretty good. It's always good to hit the ground running. Yeah. Now, was this intended to be kind of like a follow-up to your record previously, or did you kind of want to make this record stand out in its own entity in the Black Fest? Well, it was a follow-up to the last record. Okay. Um, we just we just made a we just made a record. You know, we were just writing songs basically. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, we were just writing one song at a time, pretty much, or, or a couple at a time, and just trying to make the songs good on their own. And then, uh, and then hope that it sounded like, uh, you know, had some sort of continuity and felt like a singular piece, which I think it does. Absolutely. Um, it worked out. So you, it's fair to say you had like a preconceived idea when you entered the studio. It wasn't like you guys just kind of winged it and improvised a little bit, right? All the songs were completely done. Uh, Trevor, um, Trevor wrote a lot of the solos just there, um, either while recording or, you know, had an idea in his head. And uh, I had the title of the album in my head, but that was it. I wrote all the lyrics while I was there. Okay. But the songs themselves were done. Which is awesome. Did the lyrics ever like, so you didn't really have these lyrics in mind when you were writing the songs, Not right? Not at all. You, you needed like the music. Did the music like have an influence on what you were singing Absol about? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, yep. Like I, I would just listen to the, our pre-production like over and over. And uh, I had like a couple things that I would like, maybe I can, you know, I can make a song out of this idea or whatever, but then you're just listening to the riffs and you're like figuring out, you know, the vocal patterns and then kind of writing lyrics as, as, uh, as I go, basically. It was like kind of automatic even, like just automatic writing at some point. You just like, you sit around and wait for hours to get inspired and then, oh shit, I, I wrote half the song in <laughs> 10 minutes, you know? And then you just sit around for a few more hours and nothing else comes. <laughs> <laughs> nothing is worse than an artist block, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's fair to say Blackfast has a lot of different elements in their music like uh, you know there's thrash elements there's death metal I see some progressive elements even mm -hmm. there has Blackfest it's clear to say that you've never had a problem of like bringing in newer elements in your music right well no I mean we just listen to and uh, you know it's not exclusive to us you know everybody listens to um, a wide variety of music um, it's the same for us and it just is all kind of in there subconsciously I guess so we just when we just go to write it's just kind of anything goes and like whatever comes out um, and feels good in the practice room is what sticks, basically. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, I've always thought that every instrument in Blackfast counts, kind of. Like, you have brutal vocals, the guitars just shred, and I'm a huge fan of the percussion work. Has there anything that always comes first? It's guitar riffs. Yep. Guitar riffs come first. Like, um, we, get a, we get a riff and go from there, basically. It's a guitar riff band. Can't go wrong with yeah, riffs. Yeah, all the way. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, one reason why I'm really happy to talk to you, because you're on this tour now with Ringworm, and yep. you just did a couple of shows with Ex Mortis, but the first time I Ex saw you... Ex Mortis. Oh, God. We uh, interviewed them last week. Great. Um, but, uh, you know, like, the first time I saw you guys was with Crowbar and Havoc and Overkill. Yeah, yeah. Metal Alliance. Yep. Yeah, last year. Yep. And, you know, I've seen you guys on just a variety of different bills. Do you notice, and I know that you play with Shadows Fall even one time, so mm -hmm. depending on the bills that you're on, do you like maybe kind of like adjust your set list or like notice maybe a different crowd in the audience? Uh, nah, we just we just make our set and go for it and uh, and hope that it hope that it lands cool, basically. Uh, we, we would play with any kind of band, um, you know, like any, any type of fucking, any type of genre even, maybe not even necessarily rock and roll. We just, it's a, it's always like a, an experiment. Like, let's go into this room and see if we can get this group of people behind us. Absolutely. And it's cool that you play to different audiences each time. Yeah. Now, um, as a lot of people know, Black Flat, Black, Black Fast is from St. Louis, Missouri. We are. Yep. yep. And I know that St. Louis is home to Story of the Year, which is a great, like, uh -huh. rock and metal band. But that's you guys and them are like really the only bands I know of that are from St. Louis. I was curious to how the metal scene is in St. Louis. Oh, there's other bands that are doing. Um, you know, that are very pro prolific and, and doing European tours. Fister uh, is touring Europe a lot. Oh, they're from St. Louis? Uh, they are, yeah. Fister's from St. Louis. Um, 
There's a band called The Lion's Daughter that has a record coming out, uh, I think, next week on Season of Mist, and they're doing a West Coast run, like, in October. Um, so, I mean, that's just two right there that are um, that are always churning out shit and are great bands, and they're different, too. Like, there's a scene of bands from St. Louis who are doing things and doing tours and putting out records and just have, you know, their own sounds. Um, really? Yeah, which is killer. Yeah, check out either one of those bands. They're fucking awesome. Awesome. And one final question I wanted to ask you. I never really asked this before, but being that Spectre of Ruin is like your third or fourth record uh-huh. at this point, at this point, would you say that you pretty much have like a formula when you enter the studio and you're writing music, you like know what to do and it kind of feels like going through the motions or has every album kind of been its own experience? Yeah, they're, they're definitely all their own experience. Um, yeah, it's kind of tough to, we, you know, we've been playing as a band for like eight years, so we definitely know like what works. And when we go into a room, you know, and, and, and somebody wings out a riff, we're jamming it like almost immediately. You know, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, like somebody might bring something in and there's not a lot of like, all right, well, give me a minute or give me a couple of weeks and I'll, and I'll get that down. It's like, no, we, we kind of know, we kind of know our own flavor at this point when we go in and play. Uh, if somebody wings out a riff, we're, we're, we're pretty much on the ground running and then just building a song from there. So, um, yeah, we, we have our, our, our tendencies, but you know, the other, the fun part is, uh, trying to break out of it and then tweak, the arrangements and the songs in a way that is interesting and, and satiates our our creative uh, drives. Awesome. So uh, before we go, I want to thank you so much for your time. Just the usual, you know, now that Spectre of Ruin is out, it's yep. a brand new record cycle. What could we be expecting? For, you have these tour dates with Ringworm. Yep, yep. And then, and then, and then we're, um, we're, you know, we're, we're going to get back out there and uh, and get some more tours. We have some things that, uh, that are in the works uh, and we can't announce yet, um, but we will certainly be on the road uh, and... Uh, more in the states and we are really trying to get over to uh, europe and beyond um outside of this continent anywhere uh we have not done that yet so oh really uh, yeah if you're uh if you're overseas and you're hearing this get a hold of your promoters because we very much want to get over there you definitely will kill it in europe you can't Mm -hmm. go wrong with europe but aaron thank you so much for your time everybody we are here with aaron of blackfast be sure to pick up the newest record specter of ruin it is absolutely brutal this is alex from heavy new york and we will see you next time